Liam Foster had always dreamed of exploring the stars, but he never imagined that one day he would be living among them. After a chance encounter with an alien race known as the Valorians, Liam found himself in a whirlwind romance with two of their most captivating members, Arya and Selene. Life aboard their spaceship, the Zenith, was exhilarating and full of wonder. One morning, while enjoying breakfast with Arya and Selene, Liam noticed something unusual. Arya's stomach seemed slightly rounded, and Selene had an unmistakable glow about her. He couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. Is everything okay? Liam asked, trying to sound casual. Arya exchanged a glance with Selene, who nodded. There's something we need to tell you, Liam, Arya said, her voice gentle. Our species has a unique reproductive cycle. We, we give birth every month. Liam's jaw dropped. Every month? How is that possible? Selene smiled reassuringly. It's a natural part of our biology. Our bodies are designed to conceive, gestate, and give birth in a very short period. It's how our species has thrived. Liam felt a rush of conflicting emotions, shock, curiosity, and a twinge of fear. So you're saying you both, you're both pregnant? Arya nodded. Yes, we are. And we want you to be part of this experience with us. Liam spent the rest of the day processing the shocking revelation. The idea of his girlfriends giving birth every month was mind-boggling, but he loved them deeply and wanted to understand their way of life. Arya and Selena were patient and understanding, explaining the intricacies of their reproductive cycle. They showed him the nursery, a serene room filled with advanced technology to care for the newborns. The babies, it seemed, grew rapidly and were soon able to join the rest of the community. Liam watched in awe as the nursery's caretakers attended to the infants with a gentle efficiency. How do you manage it all? He asked. Celine took his hand. We have a strong support system. Everyone in our community plays a role in raising the children. It's a collective effort. Arya added, and we want you to be a part of it, Liam. You're important to us, and we want you to be involved in every aspect of our lives. Despite the initial shock, Liam felt a growing sense of excitement and curiosity. He attended prenatal classes with Arya and Selene, learning about Valorian pregnancy and childbirth. The classes were enlightening, revealing the advanced medical techniques and natural resilience of the Valorian women. As the days passed, Liam found himself growing more comfortable with the idea. The community's collective effort in raising children was a stark contrast to what he knew on Earth, but it was also beautiful and heartwarming he began to see the unique beauty in the Valorian way of life. One evening, as Liam and Celine sat on the observation deck watching the stars, she turned to him with a thoughtful expression. I know this is a lot to take in, Liam, but you're handling it wonderfully. You're a part of us now, and together we can create something amazing. Liam smiled, feeling a deep sense of belonging. I want to be here for you, for both of you. This is our life now, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. The following weeks brought a whirlwind of activity as Arya and Selene prepared for the upcoming births. The community rallied around them, offering support and encouragement. Liam, too, found his place, assisting in various tasks and learning the ways of the Valorian society. Finally, the day arrived. The birthing chamber was filled with a sense of calm anticipation. Liam held Arya's hand, feeling a mix of anxiety and excitement. Selene stood nearby, her presence a source of strength and reassurance. The births were quick and almost effortless, a testament to the Valorian's advanced biology. Within moments, Arya and Selene each held a tiny wriggling baby. Tears filled Liam's eyes as he watched the miracle of life unfold before him. You did amazing, he whispered to Arya and Selene, kissing their foreheads. As he looked at the newborns, Liam felt a profound sense of wonder and love. This was his family, and he was ready to embrace whatever the future held. The journey ahead would be filled with challenges and surprises, but with Arya and Selene by his side, he knew they could face anything together. A month had passed since Liam learned about the Valorian reproductive cycle, and it was time for Arya and Selene to give birth. Despite his initial shock, Liam had grown more comfortable with the idea and wanted to support them. In the birthing chamber, the atmosphere was calm and serene. Advanced medical technology monitored the mothers and ensured their safety. Liam held Arya's hand, feeling a mix of anxiety and excitement. Just breathe, he whispered to her, trying to be as reassuring as possible. Arya smiled at him, 
her grip strong and confident. Celine, in the next bed, looked equally serene. We've been through this many times, Liam. Trust the process. The births were quick and almost effortless, a testament to the Valorian's advanced biology. Within moments, Arya and Celine each held a tiny, wriggling baby. Tears filled Liam's eyes as he watched the miracle of life unfold before him. You did amazing, he whispered to Arya and Selina, kissing their foreheads. The babies, wrapped in soft, glowing blankets, looked up with wide, curious eyes. Liam felt a surge of love and protectiveness. This was his family and he was determined to be the best father he could be. Life aboard the Zenith settled into a new rhythm. Liam embraced his role in the community, helping care for the children and learning more about Valorian culture. However, peace was shattered when the ship came under attack by a hostile alien race known as the Drakari. Alarms blared, and the ship's defenses sprang to life. Liam, Arya, and Selina rushed to the command center where Captain Nix coordinated the defense. The Drakari have breached our outer perimeter. Nix reported. We need all hands on deck. Liam felt a surge of adrenaline. What can I do to help? Nix handed him a weapon. We need every able-bodied person to defend the ship. Stay with Arya and Selina and protect them at all costs. The battle raged through the ship's corridors as the Drakari forces pushed forward. Liam, Arya, and Selene fought side by side, their bond strengthening with each passing moment. Despite the chaos, they moved with a fluid grace their actions perfectly synchronized. Liam's heart pounded as he fired at the enemy, determined to protect his loved ones. Arya and Selina fought fiercely, their advanced combat training evident in every move. Amidst the battle, Liam noticed a group of Drakari soldiers heading toward the nursery. They're going for the children, he shouted. Without hesitation, the trio rushed to intercept the attackers. The ensuing fight was brutal, but Liam and the Valorian's determination prevailed. The Drakari were repelled and the nursery was secured. In the aftermath, the Zenith emerged victorious, but the battle had taken its toll. The crew worked tirelessly to repair the damage and care for the wounded. Liam felt a deep sense of relief as he held Arya and Selene close, grateful that they had survived. Thank you for fighting with us, Arya said, her voice soft but filled with pride. Liam kissed her forehead. I would do anything to protect our family. The victory against the Drakari not only reinforced their bond, but also solidified Liam's place within the Valorian community. He had proven his worth and earned their respect, and in doing so, he found a new sense of purpose and belonging. As they rebuilt and prepared for whatever challenges lay ahead, Liam knew that life aboard the Zenith would never be the same. Together they would face the future, united in love and determination. The Zenith emerged victorious from the Drakari attack but the aftermath was challenging. The ship's corridors bore scars of the fierce battle, and the crew worked tirelessly to repair the damage. Liam, Arya, and Selene were among those dedicated to the restoration efforts, their bond strengthening with each passing day. One evening, as they rested in their quarters, Liam reflected on the recent events. We've been through so much together already. It feels like I've known you both forever. Arya smiled, resting her head on his shoulder. Our connection is special, Liam. We're stronger together. Celine nodded, her eyes filled with warmth. And we've shown that we can overcome anything as long as we stay united. As they talked, the babies, now growing rapidly, played nearby. The nursery had become a place of laughter and joy, a stark contrast to the harsh reality of the recent battle. Liam marveled at how quickly the children developed, their unique abilities beginning to show. Look at them. Liam said, watching one of the babies levitate a small toy with her mind. They're incredible. Arya laughed softly. Valorian children grow quickly and develop their powers early. It's both a blessing and a challenge. Selene added, but with love and guidance, they will thrive, just like we will. As the ship recovered, life aboard the Zenith returned to its normal rhythm. Liam continued to support Arya and Selene through their monthly births, growing more comfortable with the process each time. The community's collective effort made raising the children a joyous and fulfilling experience. One day, as Liam played with the children in the nursery, Celine approached him with a smile. Liam, there's something we need to tell you. He looked up, curiosity peaked. What is it? Arya joined them, her eyes twinkling. We're expecting again. Liam's heart swelled with joy. That's wonderful news. I can't wait to meet our new babies. 
The anticipation of new life brought a renewed sense of purpose to the Zenith. The crew, still recovering from the Drakari attack, found hope and strength in the promise of new beginnings. The nursery was prepared for the arrival of more children, and the community rallied together to support Arya and Selene. As the weeks passed, Liam found himself marveling at the resilience and unity of the Valorian people. Their ability to bounce back from adversity and embrace new challenges inspired him. He felt a deep sense of pride in being part of such a remarkable community. One evening, as the stars glittered outside the observation deck, Liam and Celine shared a quiet moment together. I've learned so much from you and Arya, Liam said softly, about strength, love, and resilience. Celine took his hand, her touch gentle. And we've learned from you, Liam. You've brought new perspectives and a new kind of strength to our lives. Their bond, forged through shared experiences and challenges, continued to grow stronger. Liam knew that their journey was far from over, but he felt ready to face whatever came next with Arya and Selene by his side. As the zenith sailed through the stars, the promise of new life and new adventures filled their hearts with hope. Together, they would continue to explore the galaxy, embrace new challenges, and build a future filled with love and unity. Life aboard the Zenith had settled into a comfortable rhythm, and Liam felt more integrated into the Valorian community with each passing day. The constant cycle of births and the presence of rapidly growing children had become a normal part of his life. However, the peace was soon disrupted by a call for a diplomatic mission from a neighboring star system. Captain Nick summoned Liam, Arya, and Selena to the command center. We've received a request for a diplomatic mission from the Arcturian Confederation. They seek an alliance and wish to learn more about our culture. Liam felt a surge of excitement. I'd love to be a part of it. What do we need to do? Nix explained the mission details. We'll travel to their planet, present our customs, and discuss potential alliances. Your perspective as a human could be valuable in bridging the gap between our species. The journey to the neighboring star system was smooth and Liam marveled at the beauty of the alien planet as they approached. The Arcturian landscape was a mix of towering crystal structures and lush greenery, a stark contrast to the sleek metal and technology of the Zenith. The diplomatic talks were intense but productive. Liam's insights helped bridge the cultural gap, and his presence as a human added a unique perspective that intrigued the Arcturians. The Valorians demonstrated their advanced technology, their commitment to peace, and their collective approach to life, impressing the Arcturian leaders. During a break in the negotiations, Liam wandered through the Arcturian capital with Arya and Selene. They visited local markets, sampled exotic foods, and engaged with the locals. The experience was enriching, and Liam felt a deep sense of connection to this new world. One evening, as they sat on a balcony overlooking the city, Liam turned to Arya and Selene. This place is incredible. It's amazing to see how different cultures can find common ground. Arya smiled, resting her head on his shoulder. That's the beauty of the universe, Liam. There's always something new to learn and appreciate. Selene nodded, her eyes reflecting the city's lights. And with alliances like these, we can ensure a future of peace and cooperation. As the Zenith prepared to leave the Arcturian planet, a sudden crisis arose. A powerful solar storm threatened the ship's systems, and the crew scrambled to protect the vessel. Liam, Arya, and Selene worked together to safeguard the nursery and ensure the children's safety. The storm raged for hours, testing the crew's resolve. The ship's shields were pushed to their limits, and power fluctuations created moments of tension and uncertainty. Liam's quick thinking and the Valorian's advanced technology ultimately saved the ship. When the storm passed, the crew celebrated their resilience and unity. Captain Nix gathered the crew in the command center to assess the situation. We've weathered the storm, but we need to make some repairs before we can continue our journey. Liam looked around at his comrades, feeling a deep sense of pride. We came through this together. Whatever comes next, we can handle it. As the crew worked on repairs, the bond between them grew stronger. Liam's role as a bridge between the Valorians and other species was further solidified, and he felt more confident in his place within the community. One evening, after the repairs were complete, Liam, Arya, and Selene sat together in the observation deck, watching the stars. The children played nearby, their laughter a soothing backdrop to the quiet moment. We've accomplished so much together, Liam said, his voice filled with gratitude. I can't wait to see what the future holds. 
Arya smiled, her eyes reflecting the starlight. And we'll continue to face whatever comes our way, as long as we're together. Celine took Liam's hand, her touch warm and reassuring. With love, unity and courage, anything is possible. As they sat together, united by their love and purpose, Liam knew that their journey was far from over. The future was bright and the possibilities were endless. Together, they would continue to explore the stars, embrace new adventures, and build a legacy that would inspire generations to come. With the crisis behind them and the repairs completed, the Zenith resumed its mission of exploration and diplomacy. The experience of weathering the solar storm had brought Liam, Arya, and Selene even closer together. Their relationship, once built on initial attraction and curiosity, had deepened into a profound bond of trust, love, and shared purpose. Life aboard the Zenith continued with its familiar rhythm, punctuated by the monthly births of new children. Liam had become adept at navigating the complexities of Valorian life, balancing his roles as a partner, father, and ambassador. One evening as they sat in their quarters after a long day, Arya turned to Liam with a thoughtful expression. Liam, you've adapted so well to our way of life. It's as if you've always been one of us. Liam smiled, feeling a warm glow of belonging. I feel like I belong here, Arya. With you and Celine and with this community, I've found a home. Celine, sitting beside them, nodded. You've brought something special to our lives, Liam. Your perspective, your courage, and your love have enriched our world. Their conversation was interrupted by a soft chime, signaling an incoming message. Captain Nix's face appeared on the screen, her expression serious. We've received a distress signal from a nearby star system. It seems they're under attack by a hostile force. We need to respond immediately. Liam felt a surge of adrenaline. What can we do to help? Nix explained. We'll be deploying our forces to assist in their defense. Liam, your presence will be invaluable as a bridge between our species. Prepare for deployment. As the Zenith approached the besieged star system, the crew prepared for battle. Liam, Arya, and Selene donned their combat gear, ready to face whatever dangers awaited them. The tension was palpable, but so was the determination to protect and defend. The Zenith arrived at the star system under attack and immediately engaged the hostile forces. The attackers, a ruthless race known as the Kryn, had launched a devastating assault on the peaceful inhabitants of the system. The battle was fierce. With both sides suffering heavy losses, Liam, Arya, and Selene fought side by side, their movements synchronized through countless hours of training and shared experiences. Liam's human ingenuity and the Valorian's advanced combat skills proved to be a powerful combination. As they pushed forward, Liam noticed a group of Kryn soldiers attempting to breach a civilian shelter. We need to protect those people, he shouted, leading the charge. Arya and Selene followed without hesitation, their determination matching Liam's. The ensuing fight was brutal, but the trio's coordination and bravery turned the tide. The Kryn soldiers were driven back, and the civilians were evacuated to safety. In the heat of battle, Liam's mind flashed back to his initial shock upon learning about the Valorian reproductive cycle. It seemed like a lifetime ago, yet here he was, fully integrated into their society, fighting for their shared future. The battle raged on, with the Zenith's forces gradually gaining the upper hand. The turning point came when Captain Nix executed a brilliant tactical maneuver, outflanking the Kryn and cutting off their supply lines. With their resources depleted and morale shattered, the Kryn began to retreat. As the dust settled, the Zenith's crew gathered to assess the situation and tend to the wounded. The victory had come at a cost, but the star system was safe once more. Captain Nix addressed the crew, her voice filled with pride and gratitude. Today we have proven that unity and courage can overcome any threat. Our allies are safe and we have strengthened the bonds between our species. Well done, everyone. Liam stood with Arya and Selene, feeling a deep sense of accomplishment. Their bond had been tested in the crucible of battle, and it had emerged stronger than ever. That evening, as they stood on the observation deck watching the stars, Liam turned to Arya and Selene. We've come so far together. I'm proud of what we've achieved and even more proud to be with you. Arya smiled, her eyes reflecting the starlight. And we've only just begun, Liam. There are so many more adventures and challenges ahead. Selene took Liam's hand, her touch warm and reassuring. With love, unity, and courage, anything is possible. 
As they stood together, united by their love and purpose, Liam knew that their journey was far from over. The future was bright, and the possibilities were endless. Together they would continue to explore the stars, embrace new adventures, and build a legacy that would inspire generations to come. The victory against the Kryn was not only a crucial military success, but also a significant step in strengthening alliances across the galaxy. News of the Zenith's heroics spread, and several star systems reached out to form diplomatic ties with the Valorians. Liam, Arya, and Selene found themselves at the forefront of these efforts, bridging cultures and fostering unity. One such alliance brought them to the planet Talara, known for its vast knowledge and ancient libraries. The Talarans, a wise and peaceful race, were eager to share their wisdom and resources with their new allies. The Zenith's crew was welcomed with great honor, and a grand reception was held in their honor. Liam, dressed in formal attire, stood with Arya and Selene, feeling the weight of their new responsibilities. They had moved from warriors to diplomats, carrying the hope of their people into uncharted territories. High scholar Neris of Talara greeted them warmly. Welcome, friends. We are honored by your presence and look forward to a fruitful alliance. Liam bowed respectfully. Thank you, High Scholar. We come in the spirit of cooperation and mutual respect. Together we can achieve great things. The days that followed were filled with meetings, discussions, and cultural exchanges. Liam, Arya, and Selene found themselves fascinated by the Talaran's vast repositories of knowledge. They spent hours in the grand libraries, learning about ancient technologies, philosophies, and histories. One evening, as they walked through the serene gardens of the Talaran capital, Liam turned to his partners. This place is incredible. There's so much we can learn from them. Arya nodded. And we have much to offer in return. This alliance will make us all stronger. Selene smiled, her eyes reflecting the soft glow of the garden lights. With every new connection, we're building a brighter future. As the Zenith's crew prepared to leave Talara, High Scholar Neris approached them with a gift. A set of ancient scrolls containing powerful knowledge and technologies that had been preserved for millennia. These scrolls represent the wisdom of our people, Neris said. May they guide you on your journey and help forge a future of peace and prosperity. Liam accepted the gift with deep gratitude. Thank you, High Scholar. We will cherish this knowledge and use it wisely. With their new alliance secured and armed with the wisdom of the Tellerans, the Zenith set off once more into the vast expanse of space. The crew felt a renewed sense of purpose, knowing that they were part of something greater, a growing network of alliances dedicated to peace and cooperation. Back on the Zenith, life resumed its familiar rhythm. The monthly births continued, bringing new life and joy to the ship. Liam, Arya, and Selene found fulfillment in their roles as parents, leaders, and diplomats. Their bond had deepened through every challenge and triumph, and they looked to the future with hope and determination. One evening, as they stood together on the observation deck, gazing at the stars, Liam spoke of his dreams. We've accomplished so much, but I feel like our journey is just beginning. There's so much more to explore, to learn, and to build. Arya wrapped her arm around his waist. And we'll do it together, every step of the way. Selene took Liam's hand, her touch warm and reassuring. With love, unity, and courage, anything is possible. As they stood together, united by their love and purpose, the vast expanse of space stretched out before them, filled with endless possibilities. They knew that their journey would continue to be filled with challenges and adventures, but with each other they were ready to face whatever came their way. The zenith sailed through the stars, carrying a message of hope and unity. Liam, Arya, and Selene had built a legacy that would inspire generations to come. A legacy of love, courage, and the belief that together, they could overcome any obstacle and create a brighter future for all.